The student speaker for today's ceremony is Mudit Lal. Mudit is graduating with two bachelor's degrees, one in engineering with a concentration in robotics and another in technological entrepreneurship and management. He is the founder of the Thewalok Design and Strategy Studio and the founding first officer of Piera, ASU's India Policy and Economy Research Club. After graduation, he will return to India to expand his ventures and continue building at the intersection of engineering, business, and design. Please welcome Mudit Lal to the podium. Namaskar and good afternoon, Fulton class of 2025. You did it. Congratulations. Genuinely, take a moment. Give yourself a pat on the back. Feel this moment. Come on, give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> there you go. Now, here's the thing, okay. Nobody gives you a syllabus of what's coming up next. There is no canvas page. There is no course structures. There is nothing. But what they also don't tell you is that you don't need one because you have something better. You have superpowers, three of them actually, earned just by surviving these four years at ASU. Ready for the reveal? Let's go. Superpower number one, you can solve any problem that is thrown at you. I mean, think about it. How many times did you open an exam, look at the first question, and think, I have genuinely never seen this in my life. <laughs> this, was, this was not in the lectures, this was not in the notes. I'm pretty sure the professor just made it up on the drive here. And yet, somehow, somehow you figure it out. And that's the entire job description of an engineer. The world isn't going to hand you problems that you've already solved. It's going to throw things at you that are not in any textbook or haven't been solved. Healthcare access, whether it be for rural America or Africa, AI that is evolving faster than our laws, infrastructure older than our grandparents, water scarcity, problems that feel impossible. But you know what? Every generation has faced its impossible. Reaching Mars on the first attempt was impossible until the Indian Space Research Organization did it in less than what it cost to make the movie Interstellar. <laughs> Someone always cracks it. And you? You've been training exactly for this. So that's superpower number one. Never underestimate it. Superpower number two. You now have access to the largest network of problem solvers that humanity has ever seen. You've probably heard people make fun of ASU and say, oh, they accept everyone, or <laughs> it's not exactly selective. But, but what these people don't understand is that while other schools were building walls, ASU has been building the largest network of problem solvers on the planet. There is a sun devil. There is a sun devil in nearly every country of the world. Engineers, entrepreneurs, athletes, researchers, leaders, people who sat in the same chairs, felt the same doubts, and now they're out there. They're shaping the world. So this is not a database. This is a global family for you. So use it. Reach out to people. Ask for advice. Ask for help. 
and when someone reaches out to you answer that's how we take care of each other and hey if any if any one of you find yourselves in india uh, now you know a guy <laughs> superpower number 3 you know how to keep going even when you can't see the end i know we've all had times where we couldn't see how any of this is going to work out and something that helped me through such times comes from a indian movie called three idiots and which which despite the name has some surprisingly good advice and there's this one very very beautiful line in it and it goes our heart is a little timid it gets scared easily so learn to fool it <laughs> no matter how big the problem is just tell it it's okay everything is going to be all right all is well will that solve the problem absolutely not but it will give you the courage to face it so so humor me for 10 seconds and let's do it all together okay put your hands on your heart come on with me and say it with me all is well all is well take a deep breath all is well with your whole heart all is well now this is choosing to keep on going on when the tunnel is dark that is superpower number 3 so here's where we are okay you can solve the unsolvable you have a family across the globe and you now know how to keep walking even when you can't see the path and look at where you're coming from fulton produces more engineers than any school in the country any think about it our researchers are pioneering semiconductor technology leading the world in ai we've helped build things that have gone to space our work is uplifting communities and improving health outcomes for people across the globe this is not a resume this is a legacy and now this is yours to carry forward and whether you stay in engineering or take these skills to somewhere else entirely you carry a duty you carry a duty to make this world a better place a duty to build solutions to build them ethically to build to think beyond just me and my people to think about this beautiful planet that we live on and to think about creating a world where every deserving person wins because remember as an engineer you truly are a problem solver solver at heart and yes the problems today are bigger than ever but so are we we are the generation we've been waiting for and together we are going to build something extraordinary something that shapes the future of humanity and whenever whenever you feel stuck whenever the path gets dark remember all is well and keep going so my dear super powered sun devils we will be the change we want to see in the world let's get him vijay bhava <laughs>